Good morning, brothers and sisters of Church on Main. Uh, my name's Craig. Um, many of you know me already, but uh, welcome to uh, this new series that I'm about to embark upon this week. Um, really privileged and proud to be here and uh, love you all. But what I wanted to chat about over the next uh, six days is, is the lovely building blocks of our faith. I like to think of them as the building blocks uh, of Christianity, really, looking at faith, hope, and love, and uh, doing two sessions on each of those. So I hope you'll enjoy the series, and let's get cracking. But before we do so, I would ask that if you, if you have a Bible with you, pick it up right now and, and hold it in your hand and say with me, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. And today, I will be taught the Word of God. I, must, I boldly confess that my mind is alert and my heart is receptive and I will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. So, let's crack on. Let's look at faith. And when I, I, I love faith because faith to me is, is everything about who we are in God in the sense that without faith, we cannot please Him. Um, to, to me, quite simply, faith is simply trusting God. It's simply taking Him at His word and knowing that because He is the all-powerful I Am, He will do what, he's gonna, what He says He's going to do, and His promises are always yes and amen. But uh, don't take my word for it. Let's look at what the Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 1. Here it says, here it says to us that um, faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the substance of things not seen. Or another version actually says the following. It's the confident assurance that something we want is going to happen. It is the certainty that what we hope for is waiting for us, even though we might not be able to see it up ahead. So, with that in mind, I just really want to talk to you about how, what our faith is and how can we grow in it today. Two things I want to leave with you today. Faith, as I say, is, is simply trusting God. Like you would trust your, your spouse, like you would trust, trust your, your parents or your dear friends. It's a simply the same, except it's more than that. Trusting God is so much more than that. It's putting everything that we are in His hands and saying, Lord, without you I cannot do this thing. Without you I am nowhere. It's simply about prioritization and putting Jesus in the epicenter of our lives. So, how do we do that? Again, we look to the Word. It says in Matthew 6, verse 33. This is my favorite scripture, by the way. It says, um, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you as well. So, if we put God first, and if we put our hope and our faith in Him, everything must work out for the good. Eventually, mustn't it? But sometimes it doesn't feel like that happens. So how do we actually get to a point where what we believe and what we say we believe um, and, and what we stake our claim and faith in actually comes alive in us. Well, we do that by reading the Word. And I believe that by reading the Word, we grow in, in God. We grow in the knowledge of Him and we grow in the knowledge of His ways and what He wants for us so that the blueprint for our lives can roll out. So as the Word says in Romans, it speaks about our faith. That faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so as we read the good book as we read the lord's word and as we let it get into our minds and let it take root and grow there and as we meditate upon it it then drops into our heart and as it drops into our heart it takes root and the green shoots of real life start to emerge in our heart as we mull it over and then equally from there as we begin to speak that word out in our lives, as we speak it out into our lives, our circumstances change. Now, sometimes that doesn't happen immediately. We know that. Sometimes it takes years. And I've got lots of stories of faith stories when I've seen how long it's taken me uh, in my life to, to see God's promises realized. But what I would encourage you today is to look at that first scripture in, in Hebrews 11 where it says, Now faith. That means if our heart is, is, is in a place where we're expectant, where we are expectant. We're expecting God to, to, to turn up at any minute, to, to answer prayers at any minute. He can, and it's possible that He will do that for us. 
But most often the case is that it takes some time before we see the realization of the promises and of our prayers being answered in the way that he knows is best for us and at a time that is opportune and perfect for us. So today, I just want to say to you, if you have faith in God, if you trust him, if you put on his word, if you buy up his word, if you read his word, you get it into your heart and you start acting on those promises and start speaking them out in belief, you will see your faith revived, you will see your life changed, you will see obstacles diminish and ultimately be removed in Christ. Not in and of yourself, but in Christ. So I encourage you today, brothers and sisters, put Jesus at the epicenter of your life. And uh, all things work together for the good. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you for this time today. I thank you for who you are in our lives, Lord Jesus. I thank you that you put faith in our hearts as a gift. And as we receive that gift, as we act upon that gift, we will see the outworking of your promises delivered in our lives. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. Thank you in Jesus' name. Blessed, blessed day, folks. Have a super day. Love you.